Unit One. Greetings. Hello, Jane. How are you? Chris, nice to see you. I'm fine, and you? I couldn't be better. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. What are you doing here? Oh, I came for a walk with my wife. I don't see your wife. Where is she now? She went to get something to eat. She'll be back soon. Great! I can't wait to say hello to her. I'm sure my wife will be happy to see you too. Hi. Hello. What's up? Nothing much. I'm just waiting for the bus. Have you been waiting for the bus for a long time? I've been waiting for about forty minutes. Forty minutes is a long time to wait for the bus. I think so too. Maybe you should wait over there. Why should I wait over there? Because the bus stop is over there. This is the post box. Hello. Hi. Uh, this is Chris. Is Terry there? Hi, Chris. This is Terry. How's life? Life is great, but I have not seen you in a long time. Yes, it has been a long time since we've seen each other. I'm so glad you called. All is well with you? Everything is great. Listen, I've got this amazing story to tell you. Really? Uh, uh, oh, my battery is dead. Unit two, leave taking. Your wife has been gone for a long time. Yes, she has. Do you think she will be back soon? She should be back any minute now. I'd love to stay, but I have to go now. You cannot wait a couple more minutes. I really have to go now. Please give my regards to your wife for me. I will. Take care. Thanks. You too. See you again. Is this your bus? I'm waiting for the number fourteen bus. This is the fourteen. Okay. Well, I have to go now. Okay. It was nice talking to you. It was nice meeting you. Thanks for your help. It's my pleasure.、N、nice to meet you too. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you so much for your help. No problem. I like to help. You are so kind. Well, I should be going. Okay. Good luck. Take care. Thank you. Hope to see you later. You can call me if you want. Okay. See you. Unit three. Introducing oneself and others. Chris, is that you? Terry, fancy meeting you here. Long time no see. It has been a long time. Who's your friend? <clears throat> This is my wife, Katrina. I'm pleased to meet you, Katrina. Darling, this is Terry. We played on the same basketball team in high school. Nice to meet you, Terry. We are about to have dinner. 
Would you like to join us? Oh, thanks, but uh, I'm having dinner with my mother tonight, and I must be going. Well, it was good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Bye. 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 Hi, Don. Hi, Mike. Ooh, who's your friend? Have you met Tina before? No, I don't think so. Don, this is my friend Tina. Tina, this is my colleague, Don. Hello, Tina. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too, Don. Excuse me. Yes? May I introduce myself? My name is Elroy Jetson. Hello. Nice to meet you. Thanks. And nice to meet you, too. I sell computers. You sell computers? Yes. If you ever need a computer, please call me. OK, Elroy. I do appreciate it. I will call you if I need a computer. No trouble at all. Unit 4. Inquiring about health. What's the matter with you? Oh, I had a small accident. A small accident? It looks like you broke your leg. Yes, I did break my leg. How did you break your leg? I fell off a skateboard. You have a skateboard? No, it was my friend's skateboard. Does it hurt? <coughs> Ow! Yes, it hurts. Please don't do that. Sorry. Can I sign your cast? Yeah, sure. But please be gentle. <coughs> What's wrong, Jill? I don't feel so good. You sound terrible. Are you coming down with something? I feel terrible. I think I might be coming down with the flu. Have you seen a doctor? No, I haven't seen a doctor yet. Have you taken any drugs? I'm going to the drugstore now. I will go to the drugstore with you. What seems to be the trouble? I don't feel very good. <laughs> what is wrong? My stomach hurts. Your stomach hurts. Anything else? Well, I have diarrhea. Hmm. Your stomach hurts and you have diarrhea. What did you have for lunch? Uh, seafood and a salad. Hmm. Do you want some medicine? I think some medicine might help me.
I will give you this pill. If you do not feel better by tomorrow, please come again. Okay. If I do not feel better by tomorrow, then I will come back again. Thank you. You're welcome. Unit 5. Making an appointment. I was uh, wondering if you'd like to go out to dinner on Thursday. I cannot go out on Thursday. I'm busy. Are you busy on Friday? Yes, I am busy on Friday. That's too bad. Are you busy next week? Uh, let me think. Yes, I am, but I'll be free next Wednesday. Perhaps you'd be interested in going out to dinner. That sounds lovely. Great. We'll have dinner together next Wednesday. I was wondering if you would like to go to the circus. The circus? I'm afraid I can't. I don't like clowns. <laughs> How about going to see a concert? I'd be delighted to see a concert. What time do you want to meet? Can I pick you up at 3 p.m.? 3 p.m. is great. Where will you pick me up at? How about I pick you up at your house? Great. Can I invite my sister too? Of course. That's very kind of you. Hello. Can I make an appointment over the phone? Yes, you can. Can I make an appointment for 7 a.m. on Wednesday? I'm sorry, you cannot make an appointment for that time. Why not? The office does not open until 9 a.m. I see. Can I make the appointment for 11.30 a.m.? Yes. 11.30 a.m. on Wednesday should be fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Unit 6. Making a request. Hey, can you help me? Sure. What do you need? Do you know how to burn a CD? Sure, I know how to burn a CD. I want to make a CD of my favorite songs. Okay, no problem. I can do that. It's easy. Thanks. I'll pay you. You don't need to pay me. It's my pleasure. Thanks. Is there anything I can do to help? Where are the CDs you want copied? Here they are. And here are the songs I want copied. And here is a blank CD. Great. That's all I need. Excuse me. Can you give me a hand? Yes. What's the matter? My scooter has a flat tire. Hmm. Is it flat or did you puncture it? <laughs> I'm not sure. I think it has a puncture. Would you like me to help you change it? <laughs> that would be nice. I've never changed a flat tire before. Well, I'll show you how to do it. Thanks. And if it ever happens again, you can do it yourself. Thanks so much. You are very kind. It's my pleasure. Do you have a spare tire? I don't have one. 
Oh, sorry. I can't help you then. Unit 7. Interrupting. Are you talking to me? Yes! You! You! That is not very polite. It's not? No, it's not polite at all. I I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be impolite. If you would like to interrupt me, or get my attention. You can say, excuse me. Excuse me? Yes, that's right. You can even say, pardon me. Pardon me? Yes, that's right. Now, let's start again. Excuse me? Yes. Mm, uh, Pardon me. Very good. What can I do for you? I'm sorry. I forgot why I was interrupting you. Excuse me. Do you have the time? Yes. It's half past three. Half past three. Great. Pardon me, are you finished with the sports section yet? Yes, I am finished with the sports section. Could you tell me who won the game, Brazil or France? Uh, here, you can have the sports section. Oh, great. Thank you. Sure. Sorry to interrupt. Do you have a lighter? No, I don't. I don't smoke. Unit 8. Asking for information. I'm hoping you can help me. What do you need help with? I'm looking for information about visa requirements. Visa requirements? For what country? Does it matter what country? Yes, different countries have different requirements. Really? Yes, really. For example, New Zealand has different requirements than United States. Oh, what is the best way to find information about visa requirements? Well, maybe you can find information on the internet, but the best thing to do is go to the embassy of the country you want to go to. So, if I go to the embassy, I will find out what information I need. That's right. Hmm. Do you happen to know where the American embassy is? It's on Broadway Avenue, next to the McDonald's. Thank you so much. Good luck. Hello. I just wanted to ask what time do you close? What days, sir? Oh, Fridays. On Friday and Saturday, the kitchen closes at midnight and the restaurant closes at 2. And weekdays? On weekdays, the kitchen closes at 10 p.m. and the restaurant closes at midnight. What time do you stop serving drinks? We stop serving drinks about 10 minutes before closing. And what time do you open? We open at 10 a.m. every day. Thank you. My pleasure. Unit 9, asking for clarification. Are you going to work tomorrow? Yes, of course. What time are you going to work? 9 a.m. I have to be at work by 9 a.m. So you are free before 9 a.m.? 
No, I'll be getting ready for work before 9 a.m. Wait, what do you want? Do you want to have breakfast with me tomorrow morning? No, that's okay. I've seen you every day this week. But I want to see you every day. No, that's way too much. Do you remember the other day when you said your bicycle is old? Yes, my bicycle is getting kind of old now. So, you remember saying that, right? Right, that's what I said. And you said you should get a new bicycle. Yes, if I get some extra money, I should get a new bicycle. Remember how you said that if I wanted to borrow your bicycle, I could. Sure, I said that. You are my friend. Wait, what's your point? Oh, <laughs> well, I borrowed your bicycle to go to 7-Eleven. And someone stole it. What? Who stole my bicycle? But, but there's no problem, right? You were planning on getting a new one. Unit 10. Asking for directions. Excuse me, could you tell me how to get to the bus station from here? Which bus station do you want to go to? There's more than one bus station? Yes, there are four bus stations. Oh, I did not know that. Well, I want to go to LA. Hmm. Okay, LA is west of here, so you need to go to the Western Bus Terminal. Where is the Western Bus Terminal? Hmm. That's over in Finchley. It's too far to walk. You'll have to take a bus or a taxi. I think I'll take a taxi. Okay. Just tell the taxi driver you want to go to the Western Bus Station. Great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Bolex. It's an F. That's an R. You need glasses. Excuse me? Yes? Pardon me for interrupting, but I'm lost and I'm trying to find my way back to my hotel. Where are you staying? I'm staying at the Penta Hotel. Oh, the best way to get back is take the subway. Take the subway? Yes, there is a subway station opposite your hotel. Oh, okay. No. The best way is to take the bus. Why? The bus takes longer. She's clearly from out of town, and the subway can be dangerous. The subway is not dangerous this time of day. It's not. It is real. It's not, and the subway is not dangerous either. The bus is funner, it's got a view. 
Unit 11. Prohibition and Obligation. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How may I help you? Well, I have a question. Well, this is the information booth. I have an answer for you. Do you have a light? I'm sorry. I don't understand what you mean. Do you have a light for a cigarette? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't. You're not allowed to smoke indoors. Oh, I see. Do you have a smoking area around here? Yes. Just outside in the parking lot, there is a bench and an ashtray there. That way? Yes. And perhaps you will find someone with a light there. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> I'm sorry, no photos allowed. What? No photos allowed in this building. Why can't I take a photo? It's for security reasons, sir. Oh. Well, can I shoot some video? I'm sorry. No videos allowed either. What about if I take a picture with my mobile phone? No photos of any kind allowed in this building, sir. No video either. So, where can I take some pictures? Anywhere. Outside the building is allowed. So I can take a picture in front. Yes, that's right. What if I want a picture of that? You can buy pictures of that at the gift shop. I understand. Thank you. Unit 12: Persuasion and Giving Advice. What's wrong with you? I'm tired, and I have a headache. Why is that? I've been studying for hours for this English exam. You should take a break. Do you think so? Yes. You should walk around, stretch your legs. Okay. Yeah. Good. Rest your eyes. Get a drink. Ah, I feel better. You should eat something too. Want me to order a pizza? That's a good idea. Can I give you some advice? I guess so. What is it? You shouldn't play video games at work. But I'm just 
taking a little break. Yes. But it looks bad. Well, then why are there games on this computer? The games came with the computer. Yeah? What's your point? What would the boss think if he saw you playing games and not working? I don't know. Cool. I love that game. What's your high score? 20,128. Ha <laughs> ha! Mine's over 30,000. Keep practicing. What are you standing around here for? Don't you have some work you should be doing? Hey, do you want some advice? What? You should mind your own business. <coughs> Waiter, excuse me, are you ready to order? Okay. Yes, I'd like to have the spaghetti and a cup of tea. I like the beef steak and salad and I'd like three slices of pizza, please. Okay. This is a situation of ordering the food in a restaurant. Okay. I would like or I'd like I like something that means I want something very politely, okay? So, waiter, excuse me. Remember X and S, okay? S excuse me to S excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Are you ready? Ready to order? Are you ready to order? Okay. I, yes, I'd like to have the spaghetti. You can say I'd like, I would like, or I'd like, or you can say like this, I, I like, I like, okay, I, pause a little bit, okay, actually your tongue is right there, write the word, write the sound of the, the, the D, right, I'd, but you just put your tongue there, I, stop, I like. I like, okay? I, t I like, okay? I like, I like to have the spaghetti, the spaghetti, sp. Remember, sp. Don't say spaghetti, oh, okay? Sp, spaghetti, okay? Spaghetti, the spaghetti, the spaghetti. I like to have the spaghetti. I like to have the spaghetti. I like to have that means I want to have. I like to have the spaghetti and a cup of tea, please. A cup of tea. You can say a cup of tea or you can link them together. Cup of. Okay, this is cup. Okay, and then link them together. Cup. 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 You can say cup or cup of, okay, the same. A cup of tea or a cup of, okay. A cup of tea, I like to say a cup of. A cup of tea, a cup of tea, please, please. A cup of tea, a cup of tea, please. A cup or a cup of, okay, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a cup of beer, okay. Yes, I like to have the spaghetti. And a cup of tea, please. B. I'd like, or I'd, pause a little bit. I'd like, I'd like, I'd like the beef steak. Remember, beef steak. 
beef steak ok đừng say beef steak ok beef steak or beef steak 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 and salad I like the beef steak and the salad. I like the beef steak and the sorry, I like the beef steak and salad. And I like I like and I like and I like three, remember three slices of pizza. What would you do if you had a million dollars? What would you do if you had a million dollars? What about you? What would you do if you had a million dollars? Now, A. I'd give my parents a half or I'd give my parents a half. B. I'd open my own restaurant chain. I'd open my own restaurant chain. I'd open, I'd open, I'd open my own restaurant chain. If I had a million dollars, I'd stop studying and just stay at home to play video games. If I had a million dollars, I'd stop. I'd stop studying and just stay at home to play video games. And still in the, I think I think I'd I think I'd go shop. Sorry, I think I'd go traveling all around the world. Or you can say, I think kite. I think kite go traveling all around the world. E and me, I buy. I buy a big house in a seaside city. A big house in a seaside city. And me, I buy. I buy a big house in a seaside city. Where do you like to go now? That means say, like, where do you want to go now? Maybe like. Um, we are going. We are going out, and then I don't know what place or which place you want to go. And then I can ask you, where do you want to go now, or where do you like to go now? I like to go to the. I like to go to. Sorry, I like to go to the cinema. I like to go to the cinema. I like to go to the cinema, or I like to go to the theater. I like to go to the shopping mall. Where do you like to go now? I like to go to the cinema, or I like to go to the shopping mall. Do you want to go to the zoo with me? You want to go to the zoo, and then you ask your friends or other people, "Do you want to go to the zoo with me?" With. Do you want to go to the zoo with me? And remember, one two we can say in short form, wanna, wanna. Do you want to go to the zoo? sorry? Do you want to go to the zoo with me? Want to go to? Actually, you can say this is the. Do you want to go to? Do you want to go to? Do you want to go to the zoo with me? Do you want to go to the zoo with me? Or do you want to go to the zoo with me? Do you want to go to the zoo with me? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Sure. Remember, don't say sure. This is uh, this is special form. We say sure, sure. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's go. Remember, uh, we have to have S here. Let let somebody go. That means okay, you can go. I don't care, or or I let you to go. But let's go. That means let us go. That means like we go together. Let's go. Sure, let's go. Sorry, I don't. I'm busy studying. You, you, you say sorry. I don't, or I'm sorry, or I'm sorry. I can't. And then you can say uh, the reason. I'm busy studying. I have to uh, do the housework or something like that. Sorry, I don't. I'm busy studying. Is your house next to the museum? Is your house next to the museum? Um, next to. You can say next to, behind, in front of, opposite. Okay, that is the the direction. Is your house next to the museum? Yes, that's right. If that is correct, or if that is not correct, you say no. It's quite far from my house. No, it's quite far from my house.